the greater mouse deer. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm picking blueberries. Look how ripe they are. Mmm, and they taste really fresh and sweet. Let's pick blueberries together. It'll be fun. That's strange. Where have the blueberries gone? They were right here a moment ago. Look, they're disappearing. What is it, Hero? Is that a deer? Hmm, it looks like a deer, but it's so small. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little guy. Katie, are you there? We just found a strange looking deer in the garden. Hi, Leo. That's not a deer, though it sure looks like one. Come on up and I'll tell you more. All right, see you soon. Hero, you stay here and make sure our new friend doesn't eat any more of our blueberries, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. So if it's not a deer, what is it? Hi, Leo. The animal you've just found is a mouse deer. It's called a mouse deer because it has hooves, like a deer. But its face and body is similar to that of a mouse. There are different types of mouse deer, and the one you found is called a greater mouse deer. Why is it called a greater mouse deer? That's because of all the different mouse deer, it's the largest. Still, mouse deer are small in size compared to other hoofed animals. In fact, they are the smallest hoofed animals in the world. Being small helps them hide better in the wild. They have long pencil thin legs that make them quick on their feet. They are also nocturnal animals, which means they are active during the night. This is why the mouse deer is almost never seen. I see. We almost missed it eating our blueberries. The greater mouse deer likes to eat fruits, but they also eat leaves and aquatic plants. By the way, it lives in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Hmm, I don't think there are enough blueberries in our garden. We should return it to its home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the rainforest. What are those things, Ranger Rocky? These are animal traps. I found them by the bushes. Luckily, no animal was caught, and I'm making sure they never will. What happens to animals that get caught in the traps? They might be taken for their meat or fur. Anyway, it's bad news for the animal, so better watch out for these traps. Ah, I see you've brought along a greater mouse deer. What a lovely creature. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We found it in our garden and we're trying to return it to its home. Greater mouse deer mostly live alone or with just one partner. Their homes or territories are quite small. Just keep a lookout for a place with lots of shrubs, bushes, and plants close to water. These animals like to live near water because they can hide in it from predators, while at the same time live in thick undergrowth. Undergrowth? Undergrowth is the shrubs and other plants growing beneath trees in the forest. 
the greater mouse deer uses the undergrowth to travel through tiny tunnel-like trails in the forest. It helps them to stay hidden. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Let's see what we can find. Here is a stream near a tree, and on this side is a stream near a lot of trees, shrubs, and bushes. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a stream near a tree. And over there is a stream near a lot of trees, shrubs, and bushes. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the stream near a lot of trees, shrubs, and bushes because the mouse deer likes to live near water and it uses the undergrowth to stay hidden. Let's go! I guess we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Come on, everybody! <laughs> what is it, Hero? The mouse deer is gone? Where is it? It's so hard to see anything here. <coughs> what was that? The mouse deer might be in danger. Hero, lead the way. The mouse deer is trapped. This must be one of the animal traps Ranger Rocky warned us about. I can't lift the door. I think there's some kind of lock on it. That's it, Hero. Let's all dig a hole together. That's a great idea. We can make a tunnel for the mouse deer. Almost there. It's still not big enough. We can use this. It's working. You can do it, mouse deer. We did it. We saved the mouse deer. Yay! Hmm. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the greater mouse deer's home, just follow the moonlight. Not a blue kite or a brave knight, but follow the moonlight. I see. So not a blue kite or a brave knight, but, but follow, follow the, the moonlight. moonlight. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the mouse deer's home, you have to follow the moonlight. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the mouse deer's home. There are lights. Is that moonlight? Hmm, no it's not. Those are fireflies. So let's continue. What do you think that is? That's right, it's moonlight. The trail seems to be leading somewhere. Let's follow it. Can you see what that is? That's right. It's a stream. This place must be the mouse deer's home. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Look, another mouse deer. And they recognize each other. We did it. We found the mouse deer's home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! a greater mouse deer in our garden. We learned that the mouse deer feeds on fruits and plants and lives close to water and forest undergrowth. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Make all the noise you want. You're not going anywhere. Huh? Huh? 
in the name of Furballs! Breakfast! Wakey, wakey, alligators! Where is everyone? It's so quiet. Hello? Guys? Ugh, rah, rah. Didn't we agree elephants on roller skates was a bad idea? Rah, rah? Thank you, Meep. Thank you, Ra Ra. You did it. You're a ranger. Wow. Ooh, shiny. We're so proud of you. Let's celebrate. Let's make a memory, people! Thank you all. Starting today, I'm officially the ranger in charge of this park, and I'm going to need all of you to help me make it a success. Today has to go smoothly. Rara, that means no skating for you. <gasps> me? Why? <laughs> It means less one-on-one -on -one time with you guys. Aww. But I'll be able to improve things for everyone. Yeah. <sighs> hey, mister! up my mission. Let go of Agent Pinky. <laughs> Hi -ya! Yar! <laughs> now that you're finally in charge, let's talk meat. Specifically, Wagyu. And I'll need night vision goggles. I am. Uh, I'll look into that, Jai. How about a soda fountain? I could it till 10 a.m. <sighs> meat. Maybe you can settle a quandary for my mother, father, and I. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, uh, gee, we'll be that. I so say the prehistoric eggs of other creatures existed before chickens. I concur and pose the question: Is a conundrum designed to query oh, the very origins my two of our existence? Brainy boys, like father, like son. What do you think, Meep? I, 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 um, excuse me. That's your best one yet, son. Leaf, thanks. Aww. Hey, what's up? It's just everyone's with their families and. I've been thinking about my dad and feeling... Like, because your dad's missing, a part of you is missing, and because of that missing part, you don't really belong? Yeah. How'd you know? I know the feeling. My parents are travelers. They never make it to this stuff. But at least we have each other. I've got your back, bro. Woohoo! Oh, oh, oh. oh, you came! Well, we missed our dilly pickle. Come in for a squeeze, yeah. son. Me! <laughs> Dance with us! Are you okay, Puddin' Pop? 
You look a little pale. Yep. They are so alike. Thank you. Now, as we all know, Meep is feeling left out because he doesn't have family here. It's our job to fix that. It's okay, really. I was just missing my dad, and I get a bit overwhelmed. Oh, MG, my little Meep, you must be so sad. But don't worry. Mumu and Papa have a plan. Yes, sirree. We once followed life's path to an island in Papua New Guinea where we came across an indigenous flock with a sacred custom. They adopted lost eggs and took turns raising the hatchlings together. So there are others like me without parents? Of course. Not everyone can be with their parents, but that doesn't mean they can't have a family. That's why today you'll spend time with all of our family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that sounds nice. Welcome to the family, Meek. Ah! Thank <laughs> you. 
Sound? I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> 